Well, there's no question that there needs to be a balance between representative democracy, electing people to make decisions, and uh, direct democracy, people participating themselves. And I think the balance is changing, and we need more of an emphasis on participation. So, for example, take participatory budgeting. That's about local people making decisions about how they want money spent in their particular area. Now, that obviously poses challenges. Uh, it's a challenge of making sure that uh, it's in some sense representative of a particular set of views in an area. It obviously means that for government it's about letting go, and I think that's uh, an important thing to do. And it's also important not to forget in all this that it's very important that the role for government remains, the role for government being to provide the resources for people to make local decisions about how they want money spent uh, in an area. You know, this isn't about sort of a DIY country, because if you had a DIY country uh, without any role for government, then where would the funding come from for all the important things that people want done in a particular area, for example? People have talked uh, a lot in the past about involving people in decisions that affect their lives. What's the key thing about the internet? The key thing about the internet is it makes that easier uh, to do. Um, whether it's getting people's opinion about uh, NHS uh, hospitals uh, through the various websites uh, that are uh, available uh, on that, whether it's testing people's opinion locally, whether it's getting people to say there's a problem in my street which I want to have fixed and I want to be able to communicate with the local council. So I think the internet is a key part uh, of making uh, these changes possible.